After a month-long fight to hold on to her liquor license, State Social's owner Renee Hajek in Columbia County says she plans to close her restaurant for good this Friday. And now she's speaking out about all that led up to it. News 12's Nick Veland is live at State Social tonight. Nick, you've been following this story since the beginning. Sounds like they plan to go out with a strong statement. Yeah, well, tonight's event is called Drag Bingo, and it's just one event for this whole week of just building up the community, and that's what State Social says their foundation for this business has been built on, and that's something that the owner never thought she would have to give up. Daydream about what it was going to look like. Never did I think of what it might look like when it was gone away. Stay Social Tap and Table, a business Renee Hajek worked hard to figure out how to bring to Columbia County. She says she built the restaurant on hosting community events in the heart of Evans, while giving people a place to enjoy a cold beer or a glass of wine. And while it seems simple, it took time to put plans into action. But now, it's all over. Never did I think I would have to dismantle everything that we worked so hard to put together. The decision to close all comes after Columbia County Commissioners voting to revoke State Social's license due to not having 50% of food sales. But Hayjack believes there is more to the Commissioner's decision than just sales. They were so supportive of me in the beginning and all the way up until we had our drag shows. And I didn't want to face that that was the reason why, because I really honestly thought, like, who would actually do that? Who can legally get away with that? And they have. Going back to the initial hearing over her alcohol license, Hajek says that she wishes she brought her attorney. Um, I would have I would have insisted that she be here because um, that was really the, the icing on the cake. That was really what sealed sealed the nail in the coffin for us. The broader impact of this decision is Hajek will not be able to hold a liquor license anywhere in Georgia for 10 years. And this worries some in the community. It's just sad, I think. I think with them trying to build up the area around here, it's just sad because it's going to scare other um, small business owners away. Stay may be leaving, but what they stood for still means something for those that were there from day one. That family time is what you want to preserve. Those memories are what you want to preserve. And you, you create those kind of things at a place like this. I can't create this kind of memory with, with my 14-year-old at a bar. And when it comes to tonight, drag bingo is going on, and they're planning on hosting another drag show come Friday until they're out of business for good. This all started with just one business, and there's been a lot of outcry about this. I think a lot of people are just sort of incredulous. So you've been speaking with people. How does losing a business like this impact that whole Evans Town Center area? Well, a lot of people have been saying that they don't know, really know what they're going to plan on doing. It's right across the street from the Evans Town Center Park, and you know that's the main attraction here. And when they walk across the street, come next week, they're only going to have one option, and that is Nailed It, which is a woodworking store. If they walk a little further, there is that your pie location, but when it comes down to it, those are going to be the only two options come next week. Right. We were just talking here in the studio about how nice it was to walk across the street. You have a place to grab a drink, go back to a concert. And we know that they're building that area up to be sort of a downtown for Evans. What are you hearing about how this closing, what kind of effect may that have on some other projects that they're working for in that area? Yeah, well, those other projects are still full force going. But Hayjack says that when she opened this, she knew those apartments were coming in along with the other area behind the Performing Arts Center. And she says that closing down early before those have opened up, it really was a lost opportunity for really getting this area all walking distance for them to, you know, live at the Evans Town Center and then walk over here to grab a drink go somewhere else, go see the Performing Arts Center, as you mentioned. And again, Hayjax says that she is just devastated that this business wasn't able to be open long enough for that. Okay, Nick Veland live there at Stay Social Tap and Table, which will be closing the doors at the end of this week. We're sure we haven't seen the end of the ripple effects from this, so we will stay on top of that for you. Thanks so much, Nick.